And we're back in the nut house. Let's go see the receptionist. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm serious here to see Holmes. Dr. Holmes. Um, just be honest, because if they're going to create trouble, I think we're more than uh, equipped to deal with these people. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not uh, sort of... I'm not interested in the well-being of corrupt douchebags. Um, and since we're a shadow runner, I think we can just hide it out. We've made bigger enemies than some doctors. Oh, new, com new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Please stay within the cafeteria. Thank you very much. I guess it's like a stop to watch or something. The clock stopped, probably displaying a time from 40 years ago. Donnie and Lorraine. Well, stranger, you look new here. Are you new here? Um, I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. I don't think you really want that. Not really. Sounds creepy, son. What do you mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I actually had a conversation about doctors, um, especially in like mental care, just yesterday, I think. And man, those people are fucking insane because there's, there's no... Um, um, no, no one is watching them. Let's say you break your leg and go to a doctor and the doctor is an asshole. Then um, you go and tell someone that the doctor is just totally unprofessional and stuff. The doctor is going to get in trouble. But in the sort of mental hospital thing or the mental um, health uh, things, if you say that the doctor was being unprofessional and uh, just like cruel and evil then the doctor's going to be like, I'm the doctor and he's insane or she's insane. So there's, there's, no, um, there's no authority there, which means the ultimate authority is with the doctor, so they can do whatever they please. And it's, it is really uh, quite frightening, actually. <laughs> um, if it, it's in a point where I would imagine it's, um, you have to be really lucky to get a good doctor, because otherwise... Um, you're fucked, basically. Um, so, who are you? The name's Donnie. That's my name. D-O-N-N-Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. Um, anyone I should look out for? Not on this floor. Only us calm ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to eat in your room. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna start fucking with them. Hey, guy, have you seen Josie? I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Philippe told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't sus more than f match four. Um, what's so important about this Josie? He's a great guy. I mean, everybody likes him. Sure, he looks like a meat meathead, but once you get to know him, he's a real thinker. He's got a super a super brawl gold ring. He always wear. He always wears from when he played for the Screamers. And he's the only guy on this floor who knows how to play chess. Uh, that's a rough profession. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole seasons without any injuries. He was usually playing Outrider though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard, but I keep a close eye on us. You could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. 
He might just be in a cool off room and they won't tell me. Um, yeah, I can look for her. Really great. I wish everybody was as nice as you, not like my mom. Yeah, but your mom's a... Anyway, it's an automatic medication dispenser. It doesn't recognize you, so nothing happens. So, they told me to stay in the cafeteria. I'm not going to stay in the cafeteria. I was like... Why are you looking at me? The stench of blood and mold gets ever stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. Another arm. A severed arm lies next to the zipped, zipped body bag. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. You slip the heavy ring off the gold finger it feels, and feel its weight in your hand. Inside is an engraving. It reads, Screamers, 48. Some drugs. The surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws, and metal vices. You find an unlabeled trivet disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. All right. Computer. So, if I want to cause a scene, I'll give her the ring. I don't want to get her get her to get punished though. Can I please? Why can I not? Do I need like a... I mean I am a Decker, right? I'm not sure what's wrong with that, but I can't use it. Can we see doctor now all right so I guess we have to cause a scene but I, I really don't want to want her to cause a scene and then be punished for it Josie's dead dead but I just saw him I do you know what happened to him maybe you should have this Oh god. Well, thanks for your help. Attention. Law, please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Guess we're in trouble. Oh, guess not. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, I saw this guy. Right. Now I remember. He was in the, uh, at the murder scene, but it, it's one of those things where, um, Sure, a criminal will, or can and will, or will in some cases visit a crime scene afterwards especially, but I feel like interacting with the police might be a little bit too much, especially in the way that he did. Like he was interacting and then he ran away, which is um, not something, you know, a person will do. But uh, anyway, good day. How can I help you? Dr. Holmes, or also known as Silas Forsberg. Dr. Holmes, I presume. You're a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who's dead? Uh, maybe we got it wrong, but all right. If that's how you want to play it, Dr. Holmes, I have reasons to believe you're involved in the Emerald City Ripper killings. I mean, he's in a locked room with an escape path. I think we should rather get him to talk to us, like, in private, and then just grab him or something. Uh, if that's the way you want to play it, Dr. Holmes, but I, I feel like we're being too pushy. We see so many delusions in this place, and still I can be surprised. I suppose I, I could... I, I suppose I shouldn't be. After all... This is a place for broken broken things. It's only fitting that a broken mind should seek us out. 
guards. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to happen. Ow. Fucker. Ow. Shit. Alright, dude. Um. I really didn't want to start after killing guards. I mean, it would have been a lot more simple if we would have been smarter about it, but... One down. Are we gonna have more problems? Who's that? Oh. Hello. It seems that the good Dr. Holmes has something special planned for you. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. <laughs> he looks like the exact kind of guy who would say something like that. Well, you know you won't get paid. You won't be getting paid after I uh, kill your boss, right? Good luck in the basement. Holmes and Petazel are waiting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so where are we going? The elevator's over there. Guard key. All right, so all the other doors are locked, so we're going this way. You might as well go in first. He is the meat shield. Whatevs. Whoops. Oh man, I didn't mean to go there. Damn. Oh, I should have reloaded too. Yeah, I, I do like the uh, the the damage system in a sense where um, the damage jumps up and down a lot, so that means that the situations can really get interesting. <clears throat> uh, attention, all personnel! We have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a male human, but may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. Whatever you want, like, it's about how many people of yours are going to get killed. Hello. Is that... Oh, he's like in, uh... So, right. The doctor is probably using some patience, too. Um, to do his dirty work. And I just reloaded, so all is good. Alright, so one at a time, I guess? Yes. Not sure why I would leave someone behind in this situation. I mean, there's a, there's an elevator there and different doors and stuff, so you might want to leave a rear guard. But uh, in this case, we're just going to move in together. Or, that yeah, I guess you can't really move out without getting everybody with you. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, as you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pretense of mental care is shattered. 
In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old, prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue all on. Holmes can only run so far. Yeah, now I'm feeling much less worse about killing all the guards and stuff. <clears throat> Violent patient. So, I don't really have much to handle them with, I don't think, because... I mean, we can't really knock them out. I do have the concussion grenade, but I'm not sure how long that lasts. I think it's just time to uh, get rid of these guys as quick as we can. I'll try to get these guys to... Um, she can finish them off while she could, wouldn't possibly have been... Oh, crap. Grenades? Fucker. So... <laughs> I have to try that. I, I'll, I think we'll just keep moving, because he might try to punch us and stuff, but that's fine. He's got a, he's got a weapon or something, but... Whatever. Dr. Holmes says... You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things, but only by further breaking them can they be remade. And so we must break you. Yeah, if you can't heal someone, you just destroy them and maybe they'll become better. There is a theory about um, treating mental disorders through uh, brainwashing, which is that you sort of destroy the person and then rebuild them back up which is what is used to create um, people who, like, especially with kids, and raise them to be monsters and things like that. So it, it is, and I, I do feel that it, in some way it's, um, it could work, but it won't work on all things. Like, you can't change a person. You can only change a person so much, but um, you can't really change their... Uh, the deepest core of them, in a sense. But we'll just ignore the violent person for now, because I think we're... we're sort of fine. Let's have a little look in there, see what's up. Oh shit, should not have come in there. Yeah, keep moving. What is this? Right, so I should probably keep moving all the way over there. And... He can take the hits, but I can see that there's no one there really, so... We're just gonna keep moving. There's no reason to hang around here, I don't think. And I don't think they can catch us, really. Alright. Ex-surgeon. What does that mean? <laughs> He's got a shotgun, too. that I can on this guy. That was pretty good. Um, get back there, then over there, I think. 
I am going to run, actually. He can take him down and then run as well. And she will run with me as far away as we can. Oh, shit, we need to look in there, though, I think. You could just, like, hold them down. Oh, fuck, she's got a pistol? <laughs> How would you do that? Give her one. Okay, I'm gonna have a look here. My heart contains a gate key. That's good. And then... The smell of rotting flesh is immense. The remains appear to be from multiple metahumans. So maybe there is... It's not racist, maybe, but there's some sort of experiment going on. Uh, we got the gate key, so we can probably use it somewhere, but I don't know where. I would imagine it's this one, but... There's also the gate upstairs just to get out of here. And why can I still look in there? There's an unlabeled trivet disc in the second drawer. Okay. Um, I guess we need to get in visible sort of, uh, distance so that we can see where we can actually go, but that looks like a way we could take... Um, Oh, maybe putting her in there is not a great idea. <laughs> so we'll keep running. We're a minor nuisance, but we should be all right. There we go. Oh, shit. You're really getting a pounding, You're not in a good way. Oh, you give fucking grenades to them? Jesus. Patients there, a couple there. I really need to get her to safety. I know I can heal her. Possibly now, but um, I think she can take a hit or two. Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in a mind such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. For parts for what? Oh, damn. <clears throat> I feel like this guy might actually be, um... Um, I think feel like this guy might actually be... He's a crazed patient, but... I think we're just gonna keep going. Fuck a bit, no. I was like thinking if they blocked me out, that would be sh sh shit. That would suck. I swear she's gonna get hit by a shotgun. Oh, they're just shooting each other now. Fine. I, I can't stop everything, but. I can't save everybody, I can't stop everything, but I can stop myself from killing them, so let's see now. No shelter, some shelter. It's worth moving, moving up and reloading, I think. And I am also hurt. Everybody's actually fairly damaged, but I think these guys might get stuck here. 
They might even get angry at the guards too. I, I'd rather go and kill the guards than some random guys who are killing the guards. Oh, no, not there. Just realized that the one dude back there has a machete. So this is definitely on the hospital, people. <laughs> Bro, get the guard. Doctor with a machete, all right. I think we're gonna get the doctor first because he uh, doesn't have a shield gun. There we go. go over here. Where's his accuracy? One of the accuracy isn't that great actually. What shit? Something's going on back here. <laughs> Wonder who wins. Oh snap. It was not to the big guy. Should have probably run. Alright, she can go over there. Yes. I don't know what it said, I wasn't reading. Oh, what? The intercom is the good Dr. Holmes, if that is his real name, was talking. Uh, okay, I'll watch a film. Hold them back. <laughs> the Trivid uh, player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Yeah, just... This guy's big enough, he can just put them all, like, sit on them and stuff. Uh, Insert and playback video one. Got some cutout chips in last week. Uh, tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. That's pretty good. In today's interview, Ms. Yuskin told me she hated her legs, said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her, f her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. I've put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs in and see how she likes them. Okay. Um, I don't think this explains everything, but at least uh, anyone missing legs. And uh, he has done some botched uh, surgery, like cosmetic surgery, so he does have a past in that, but still it's like, it's a little weird. Someone like a, a hospital full of people who want like different eyes or something. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some Simpsons uh, re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. I am not sure what that means. Found a buyer for the first Monroku. A man in the Barrens offered me 
20,000 yen for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are already over anyway. The least they could do is line my pockets. Yeah, that sounds basically like a mental health professional these days. <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess we got to play the, uh, the tapes that we found and there were some tapes there too. Unless I have like an inventory where I can use them, but I don't think we do. Alright, let's get out of here. Skedaddle. They blocked the door, goddamn. The Emerald City Ripper. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluid spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, uh, probably former patients trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. The subject you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair, just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so it does his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper, the elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Indeed it is. Um, this has been a long combat, so I am going to use these on me. If, even if I get healed after this and these go to waste, um, it's still, still better to use them. Oh fuck. I was just gonna walk here and wait. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. You are a persistent one, a, a, one, a fine specimen indeed. Um, how much longer are you going to hide, Doc? Hide? Nothing of the sort. I'm simply in observation, and what I have next in store should prove most illuminating. So, we're probably going to face some monstrosities, some creations of his, I would imagine. Some mixed breeds. Pitizzle, subdue them. Uh, no, these are still doctors. Hired mage, surgeon. Okay. So, who's first? 94% chance of hitting her from all the way over here. Damn. He's gonna go 99 like that. Shit, that's pretty good. Oh no, he's gonna move in. Whatever. I am going to heal her because... She took some hits and I'm not sure of her dodge abilities and so on. Holy shit, there she comes. Alright, so... He's part everything, the face says it all. I think uh, Death Sight and Petazel should go at it together, but I, I want to get rid of the mage just in case something, like she does, something you know, surprising. And I would prefer to get the fuck out, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if there's more people out there, but I'm gonna... Go back. And I wish... Oh, he does have a shotgun. I think I was just mistaken last time. So I'm not gonna give them much of a chance to, uh... Try not to give her much of a chance to attack us or her or whatever. <laughs> um, and I'll run over here as well, just because she's low on health. Wow, holy shit. So I was right to be a little bit of a, a little bit afraid of her. <laughs> I think that site might. Um... Oh shit, I do actually have to do this. 
right. So I'm not going to use it yet. And I'm going to reload. And I'm going to try and kill the surgeon first, and then we can all focus on that guy. Damn. I didn't know there was actually like a stun effect. Hopefully I can... End. Nope. Shit, just punch the doctor. <laughs> why, why are you doing that? <laughs> I don't... I think, I think she's just like completely insane, basically. <clears throat> so I don't know what's going on. Are you... Oh, he, he's down now. Yeah, makes sense. Alright. So we are going to have to... I think I'm going to have to use this now. So I'll take the hits and then dodge them, hopefully. Um, how is the line of sight blocked there? God damn. She's right there. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. And then, oh. Oh yeah. Hmm. Still blocked, huh? Go as far as you can. And I remember the health thing said to use it quickly. So I'm going to try and bring him back while you do your thing. I hope she doesn't um, die. I'm not sure which one does more damage. Oh, fuck. Okay. Really? I mean, 47% chance of hitting. 77 now, okay. No. And use it on yourself. I know it's a, maybe a bit of a waste, but still. And she really needs to get out of there. Three rounds. Oh man, I should have taken her away. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, he's coming here too. Can't you do anything right, Pete Zell? So yeah, I should have taken her away, but I thought she still had one movement left. I, I, I sort of realized she didn't. But I didn't know why, so I just ignored it. I thought it was a bug. That's why bugs are bad in games. But I need to uh, retreat a little as well, I think. Damn. Lens paralyzed cannot move. Oh shit, you going to be tough too, right? Might be uh <coughs> might be death now. Yeah, I gotta use this <coughs> just in case. Because I can't I can't run, so I feel like a shotgun is something we need. I'd go for a 99 right now. Yes. Dodge that, whatever it was.
Okay, so she's down. Um, is that like she has one round left or something? I don't know. Because the instructions said that you have to use the thing, whatever you're using, quick. 53 chance of hit, so we do need to spread out. Not as much cover, but... Wish I could get like a proper cover. But he's using area of... Area attack, so I need to... Uh, Man, that was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. It's not going good. I mean, it's not going great. It's going, it's going all right. Nice. Oh, that took two turns. Fuck off. I feel like I should run, um, become more difficult to hit, but I should still have that thing on. Cooldown four for three rounds, so I don't have it on anymore. But I, I'll, I'll take the. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do at all. My fucker punched me. God damn, son. There you go. And she's dead. Holmes drops to the ground. The light in his eyes fading fast. But something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to his mortal coil for a few moments more. This is a place of broken things. I remake them. She asked me to remake her. She was playing both of us. One action point. Your experience has increased your ability to operate in dangerous situations. Okay, so we get uh, three shots now instead of two. The Emerald City Ripper breathed his last. And so did our dear friend. That sucks. Holmes' work workbench falls somewhere between corner slab and me medieval torture device. It is decorated in the many colors of death and littered with the instruments of that trade. To one side there is a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a pock sack, its small, its small screen still glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheaf of papers held closed with a tied length of surgical tubing. Let's look at the journal. Leafing through the pages, you find few intelligible entries. Holmes may not have been a real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. Stuffed in the last, pa last few pages is a copy of a disinternment order from a, from a local cemetery with the grave's occupant marked as Melinda Watts. Right. Um, let's check the pocket secretary. Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his current loaded files. Prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs beside the names and vital statistics of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts's name beside the entry for liver. Also on the list are the Ripper's known, uh, other, known loca uh, other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. There is also a large sum of new yen, which can easily be transferred to your account. Yes, I'll take them, thank you. Let's check the sheet of paper. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of the human female form, rendered, rendered to an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint of making Holmes' very own monster. 
Investigate the workspace. The bench has clearly played a host of numerous bodies over its lifetime. It includes limb restraints as well as skeletal traction me mechanisms. At this table, Ohm's likely dismembered bodies or quite possibly put them back together. The tackiness of the blood suggests it has been used relatively recently. Right. Yeah, it's a bit of a monstrosity in this whole place. Um, let's get out of here. Holy shit, where are you guys? Mail Bundrakul. His chip slot is still fresh, the open wound pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips innuendo, but his eyes say nobody's home. Well, hello there, did you come to play? Um, so uh, we need to somehow uh, get them disconnected. No thanks, just want to know what's going on. Forget him, I'll tell you what you want. I'll do anything you want, I'll be your little playmate by your name. She's assembled in a standard config, face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. You need some uh, thick beer goggles to miss the work she's had done. Um, I'll come back for you. So these prison cells Look like people are actually living in them. You're about to transition to a new location. I think we uh, have everything we need, hopefully. Loose ends. The right back uh, to the Sea of Justice Union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star Squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blaring. No doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes. The Emerald City Ripper. The man who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts, and although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns into Redmond Way, cruising past now familiar landmarks until the seamstress's union in all its decadent seedy glory uh, materializes between swipes of uh, of the its overcovered windshield wipers what materializes between swipes of its overworked windshield wipers time to evaluate your next move The union is quiet this afternoon. The salarymen and wage slaves have migrated from nearby offices and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yant. So, <clears throat> I'm going to leave this here. I thought we were basically done. Um, I want my 100k, man. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next. Uh, but everything sort of fell into place. Um, and the Ripper is dead. So we'll we'll see we'll see what happens next time. Uh, I'll see you there.